So here at Auckland Whale and Dolphin Safari, we get to take a boat full of people every day out into the Haraki Golf Marine Park, looking for the whales, the dolphins, the birds, all of the sea life out there. And it's not just about looking at the animals, viewing the animals out there, the research is a huge part of what we do. And we actively involve our passengers in that research, whether it be dropping a secchi disc over the front to measure plant plankton density, whether it's collecting zooplankton samples, and even checking our waters for microplastics. That's the sort of thing we actively involve our passengers in as well, and everyone's learning from that experience. For me, it's amazing that I get to work out in the Haraki Gulf every single day, whilst also helping to contribute towards the research, which in turn is going to help save the animals out there. On a global scale, the Haraki Gulf is a really, really special area. It's so close to Auckland City, which means we have an added responsibility of looking after all the wildlife out there. The Haraki Gulf is so special because we have such a diverse array of marine species out there. We have over 22 species of marine mammal that visit the Haraki Gulf, including two resident species. We also have lots of other animals, sharks, jellyfish, manta rays, even whale sharks and other tropical species that come into the Gulf. So we open up the boat as a platform of opportunity, which basically means that any researchers can come on board to collect their data if they have no other means to do it. The data is mainly used by um, the Department of Conservation as well as some of the local universities, mainly Auckland University, Massey University and AUT. The passengers contribute um, by coming out with us um, on our daily safaris. The money that they pay to come out with us helps in turn to fund the research. So essentially without those passengers coming out, the research does not happen. What's fantastic to see is that more and more people are making ethical and conscious choices about what they're doing on holiday. And so that means for us as a growing company, we're able to put more and more resources into the research on board. So our nature and our beautiful natural environment is actually who we are. It's what we do and it's what we live and breathe every day. And companies like Auckland Whale and Dolphin are absolutely setting the standard in sustainable tourism, which is just so important. So what I love about this company is that from the very beginning, when it started back in 2000, it was designed in a way where the conservation and commercial elements of what we do uh, work in harmony. And what we're trying to achieve is to have that ethos run right through our company, whether it be from uh, partnering with our research partners like the Department of Conservation or the universities, uh, through our procurement policies on board, um, how our staff get to work in the mornings, even the type of blue paper that we, that we use on board. It all really comes down to our tagline, discover today, protect for tomorrow. And it just makes sense, if we can protect the whales and dolphins in the Hauraki Gulf, we also protect our business, and that can only be a good thing.